Okay, back on the road, took a little break real quick. Looks like we've already did about eight miles. As you guys can see, I went ahead and put on my long sleeve shirt. And I also got my mask up. Try to stay a little warmer, keep my nose from running. Hopefully you guys can hear me and understand. I know uh, with the mask on, I'm probably sound a little muffled, but I think it's necessary today. Yeah, so I like that uh, we're on this trail here. I wasn't aware of this, but uh, it's keeping us away, you know, out of the way of the cars. And uh, since we're here in the middle of the day, there's not too many people, so yeah, this is this is cool right here. Hopefully, uh, it'll take us almost all the way there. This is crazy. So we in DB's over right now. Where we on seventh? Yeah, we just passed High Street and, and Fruitvale, so. Where are my Oakland Surround riders at? I don't see enough of y'all out here, man. I see all y'all on the Groms and the, and the little mopeds and shit. Where are my Surround riders at? Yeah, we'll go through there? We need to go straight that way. All right. Yeah, man, where my Oakland Surround riders at? I need y'all to come out and represent. Because I see y'all having fun on those gas bikes. Well, this is 2021. It's all about electric today. Three-wheeler. Uh, so we over here by Harborside. Premium uh, dispensary in the Bay Area. Maybe in California. I know they got one down in Palmdale. They got one in San Jose. They might have one more, I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, the best dispenser in California, right there. <laughs> you saw it on the sign first. Gotta pay attention to what's on the street, that's for sure. Ooh, that wind is picking up. Coming from off of the bay. Glad I put this long sleeve shirt on. 
still cold. Woo. Doing about 31. Dad says 35, but I've already uh, GPS it. I'm about four miles slower than the dash. And I can hit 50 on the dash, which means my top speed should be around 46. We're going to verify that at the end of the uh, video. Stay tuned. We'll give you guys a uh, top speed. And let you guys check out the route. Coming into downtown Oakland now. Getting close to Jack London Square. That's where it goes down on the weekends in Oakland. Where you want to be at if you uh, want to have some fun. You right there? Straight? They don't stop, no, so you gotta watch out. So sadly, and like most urban areas nowadays, Oakland is being gentrified. They're taking a lot of uh, the soul out of here and uh, replacing it with stuff like this. I understand it. Simple, you know, simple law of supply and demand. But uh, it is sad to see what's 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 going on uh, in this area right now, especially for the people that have lived here their whole lives, who've had to uh, deal with the circumstances that living in a place like this dealt them. And now you got all these other people coming in, uh, you know, buying up all the property and, and kicking everybody out. That's a lot of bikes right there. Damn. So this barbecue spot right here. Hour. Hella good. If you're ever in Oakland, you can get a chance to come visit it. Hour barbecue. 28th and uh, Mandela Parkway. Come check it out. And so we are basically here. Our destination. Emeryville. This is a, uh, what are we, <laughs> lady? <sighs> Let's go up to the top. Where? In the parking lot. The yeah, go up to the top. Oh, they got it. Uh, they they got it blocked off. Yeah, you want to? Yeah.
Go ahead. But I'll get shit on. <laughs> These motherfuckers are dropping bombs. <laughs> oh, they're coming back, you bastards. Alright, you two. We made it to where we were trying to get to. Hayward to Emeryville. Looks like we did about 20 miles so far. We've got another 20 to get home. I'm gonna stop by one of my boys' uh, jobs, say what's up to him. Maybe have a libation. And then we're on, we're on our way home. We are in Emeryville slash Oakland, so we are going to have to be careful. These motherfuckers out here just do whatever they want to, so. So far, it looks like we're going to have enough battery to get back to the house. Definitely been keeping an eye out on that. Well, we will let you know. Oh, shit. That's the Oakland PD for you. Unless you're doing a bank robbery or pulling a gun out, they don't really give a <laughs> they didn't even care, did they? Yeah, no. They didn't even give a no. That is the one good thing about Oakland is that the police department has way more things to worry about than a couple men riding their surrounds. So this stuff here is sketchy. When you have the uh, the whole lane be the bike lane. It's again, these cars right here think that uh, they're on racetrack, so. This is the kind of stuff that I do not prefer. But it is what it is now. Gonna have to make the best of it. Got a whole little community over here. Hey! <laughs> What's up, bro? I ain't seen you in a minute. Yeah, yeah. All right, just went to go see my boy Mac. We headed home now. Beautiful day.
So like my man Samil said, we are in the hood hood right now. Definitely want to stay alert. Mostly just for cars. I mean, I'm not. These are my people's. Thought this way was supposed to be faster. There's definitely a lot more lights this way. We'll see how it goes. kid on a big ass bike. I bet he's swinging that though. Come on around him. One hell of a ride. The knack pack is, I want to say, so far keeping up with the shy battery. Obviously, like I said earlier at the beginning, it's nothing like having that thing sit in your uh, battery compartment flush. Nothing else poking out. So the shy battery is definitely winning on ergo ergonomics and looks but does it give you more power is it worth an extra $2100 I think that's probably something that everybody is going to have to decide for themselves I do know that there are a couple of extra or a couple of extra. There are some different battery uh, companies out there right now making batteries for the Ceron. Lightspeed comes to mind. They do have some very interesting batteries, but they don't have anything 60 volt, anything close to this uh, amperage. 63 amp hours. I mean, that's crazy. Like literally almost double. that does make it compelling so we've been uh, riding pretty fast on the way home here probably averaging about 35 miles an hour Seems like it's eating up our battery a little bit more uh, going faster, but we're going to have to check that when we get to the house. Got to give the people, yeah, give the people what they want. Question of the daytime, YouTube. 
I know I asked you guys where you're from and how the weather was in your area. Make sure you drop that comment down below. But my question of the day, what's the furthest you've ridden on your PEV? Whether it be a unicycle, a scooter, a Super 73, Suron, Onyx, whatever. What's the longest distance you've ever ridden on your PEV? Make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know. You guys know I like participation. And I also like giving you guys the answers to my, my questions. Unfortunately, today's answer is going to be at the end of this video because I won't know until I get done. So we're back in San Leandro now. Not far from the house. I want to say maybe another five miles. In the 42-ish miles that I've gone so far, these last couple miles are becoming the hardest simply because I'm tired of sitting down. As many of my loyal listeners or viewers would know, I do have the uh, Luna floating seat. So it is cushioned more than the stock seat, but after this many miles, feels like cardboard. YouTube and drop some meal off. Got his range and battery stats, compared them to mine. I'll go ahead and post those up here somewhere right now. I'll let you see what he did, and then when I get home, I'll let you know what I did. Initial impressions on the knack pack versus the shy battery right there man right there minimal to no difference at all the only big difference is that you get to see the knack pack and the shy battery sits right there in your in your battery compartment I think that's, for me, all my initial impressions, the only real difference. My ass is hurting. I'm ready to get off this bike. I got about five more miles to go to the, get to the house. And I'm going to sit down and relax for a cool minute. This was fun. 
never really done a range test uh, to this degree before you know doing a 20 mile 30 mile range test compared to what we did today is nothing Oh man, it was a long day today. Happy that I can bring you guys this range test. Been wanting to do this for a while now. Can't believe how well this uh, range extender performs I still need to get a better uh, bag for it but phew. for the money I don't think there's anything out there on the market that uh, is giving you the kind of range that this thing will give you So whenever he gets done, uh, you know, putting together the final touches on the battery or the range extender, I'll definitely make sure to uh, put a link down in the description of where you guys might be able to get yourself one. If that's something that you might be interested in. I want to thank everybody who stayed until the end. If you like my content, please like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Helps me out a lot. And I appreciate it. Until next time, YouTube.